Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and safe. And the borders are opening up here in the Netherlands and I think we're going back to uh, a new way but um, it's uh, life is going to be better again. Okay, and I hope that will bring joy to you as well. Everything is returning a little bit more um, to the old way, but in a new way, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and welcome for coming back and supporting the channel, my cyber angels, and to the new people, welcome. And I hope you enjoy it. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday, um, uh, unless something comes in between. And I give away free cards and I also answer questions if they are supported with a super chat or a super sticker. And if you would like to have an extensive reading on one on one through video or telephone or whatever, then uh, you can find the information below and uh, you can get into contact with me by sending me an email or um, go to the website and you can find the different readings that are on offer there and there will be another reading added shortly a crystal ball reading okay um, and there you will also find out how I do the reading okay now I've got some news for you all as well exciting news I think because I would li uh, like to do things in the tea room in the live sessions and have fun because in the last couple of weeks the it, uh, the tea room has really been growing rapidly and we're having lots of fun and I do appreciate everybody's patience and how they chat with each other and how respectful and peace there is there is a form of t tranquility in the tea room it's magic you can feel the energy okay now if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded if this reading doesn't resonate with you then have a look at the moon sign or your rising sign the news is that um, I'm going to do a competition in in a couple of weeks so uh, go to the website and uh, look uh, to find out from time to time I'll put uh, in the community I will put a notification uh, saying that a new video is loaded up with regards to the competition that I'm going to hold and what you can win you can win one of these decks brand new with um, permission from the publishers Shivers Red Feather okay it will be all in cellophane I'm waiting for it to arrive but you can um, get one of these uh, for yourself so um, you can win one of these and you also not only get these cards but you can also get a thick fat beautiful book and it's easy for beginners um, this th uh, to learn this tarot because it is funny it's chirpy it's quirky uh, go and see the uh, review review that I've done on them then you can see all the cards and you've got easy way of beginning and to learn it is fun and that's why it's so exciting it will draw you back each time to carry on it's not a card deck that you uh, leave lying around it, it just draws you into the decks and if you like the Adam family then you will like this deck now before I got the okay from the publishers I already said in the life that I would uh, was going to do a competition and you could win the vice versa deck this is one of my own decks and I like um, doing things like that in the live sessions to keep uh, uh, the tea room exciting and refreshing so you can see it's all in good order now I don't know whether I'm going to give the winner um, the choice or whether I'm going to do first place second place okay um, I'm just um, going to think about that 
uh, in the week um, how um, what I'm going to do I have an idea but it will be, they're very expensive decks so um, uh, it is worthwhile you'll have to work for it <laughs> okay I hope you will enjoy the competition and I hope you will join in okay now let's get started with your reading my beautifuls I'm using like I said the Shadowland deck from Monica Bovinsky and also her Lenormand deck then I'm using the Mirror Truth Lenormand um, the Crystal Oracle Spirit deck and the White Witches deck and the Postcard from Spirit so it's quite an extensive reading and you all know that <coughs> Uh, the Big Arcana represents uh, the Zodiac sign, a lot of the cards from the Big Arcana, and you are Virgo, and you are represented by the Hermits. And this is the Hermit. And I love these cards, I've done a review on this as well. So go and have a look. If you are a tattoo freak, then these cards are a must to choose for a tattoo they're really really beautiful so go and have a look okay it's just an idea I had because that's what came out that came out when I was opening them up okay so your first card for Monday the 25th this reading is from the 25th to the 31st is the tower unexpected changes something wasn't built on proper foundations now perhaps you didn't decide or choose what you, how to carry on in something and so the angels and the divine thought right um, that's enough of that uh, we want to make a beautiful clean sweep and give a, give you a, um, a better future or something better okay you can't change it it's gone you can forget about the past you can only change the future and the present okay so learn how to choose and decide now you've also got the mandrake and the mandrake to me speaks of um, magic it's a magical thing it's a magical root okay it looks like a carrot and the boy or the man is following the magic okay it's time to do something magical like this is unexpected unexpected something is happening unexpected so perhaps you might do something magical like a spell or a ritual like meditation contemplation and evaluating okay perhaps you are more um, uh, in uh, you're more likely to start meditating and um, you want something exciting okay so you want to get out of your comfort zone so seek the message seek the adventure that is what the mandrake means okay S like I said start me perhaps you are starting to learn how to make a, a choice on Wednesday you have the eight Ace of Wands. There you go. I'm getting to here. Um, you've got the world in your own hands. You've got, yes, you've got decisions uh, in your own hands. So take action. Fire is action. Passion. Creativity and logic. Be logical and take action and make decisions. Learn how to make decisions. This could be a new passion, like a hobby, or work, or you could start a passionate relationship with a fire sign. This could be Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Listen to your intuition. Well, meditation, I said you might start meditating to seek the answers, because the answers are usually within us. It could also be uh, a passionate relationship with a Pisces because the moon is representing or represents Pisces like the hermit represents Virgo Virgo okay somebody might not be telling you the truth 
perhaps you feel like somebody is lying, like this is Pinocchio's nose, and they know it, and they're wearing a mask. They're hanging on for dear life. There is something, you've got the dark side of the moon, so there's something that you don't know. Perhaps a Pisces fancies you and wants to have a passionate relationship with you instead of a fire sign. Okay. It's difficult if you don't know. If they're not going to open up and they're wearing a mask, ooh, that's difficult. Sorry about that. They're trying to hang on for dear life. So if you do suspect something, then approach them and ask them. Listen to your intuition. Your emotions might be um, more sensitive or heightened. Your intuitiveness is telling you, yes, they like me. So just ask. Okay, you are in the spotlight. So somebody does have an eye on you. You might feel out of balance. It's number 32, so it's a 5. And here uh, is number 37. So there is an ending. It's confirming that the tower is an ending and a new beginning. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And you've got to take action. New beginning. Could be a new job. It's a l This week is a lot of new beginnings and endings. Okay. Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, you might be getting wage-wise because you've got out of your comfort zone and you've got recognition because somebody, you are in the spotlight, you've got recognition. So somebody might be giving you a, a gift or wage-wise or you've invested in something and it's bearing fruit now. Okay, you can harvest. You're harvesting something to start again. in yourself you've got the cross you might be too much in your head you might be depressed don't be others believe in you so you have to believe in yourself have faith others have faith in you look at the cat it's looking up at the lady come on get away from that veil I want my food people do depend on you they trust you they have faith in you you've got choices to make at the end of the week don't let the tower moment happen again learn from it and at the weekend you've got the ace of pentacles wow so the it's something that is steady and slow but it is with durability and long term something is going to happen perhaps a um, um, a passionate affair with a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Perhaps you're starting a new relationship. Okay. And an Ace of Pentacles. A new investment, perhaps, because you've got the money now. But be careful. There are people that will misuse you. Okay, there might be slithery and slimy and ooh, don't trust everybody. And there is a boy reading a book on a bench. I don't know if you can see it. So get the information. There is a snake in the grass. If you're signing contracts because of a new job, right? Or if you're getting married, read the contract, the small print. You need more information. There is a catch to something. So be careful. Forewarned is forearmed. You've got the page of pentacles. And he, the page, will bring you news. This could be a young person, a younger person than you. Okay, usually it's a teenager. So that could be the page of pentacles. That is Capricorn. But don't exclude Virgo or Taurus. It could be news regarding the family or somebody from the past. I mean, uh, uh, an ancestor. Somebody that's passed over. And because it's pentacles, you've got a lot of pentacles. 
you might even get an inheritance. Luck is on your side. This is the money bag. You're holding on to your money here and your luck. Wow, that's underneath the ancestors. So somebody is sending you a message in this reading. It could be somebody that knows something from the other realm. Okay. It's definitely big changes for you, uh, Virgo. And you've got the birds. Again, news. Be careful of gossip. You might want to get another... You see things from a different perspective. Like the hawk, he's flying. He's high above. Helicopter view. Somebody might have flown the coop or left the group. Could be at work. Could be at home. News. Could be official news as well. You've got the seven of diamonds there. So, that means what you sow, you shall reap. I think you're going to reap this week. Now you've got the um, Aqua Aura Quartz. That's beautiful. And that's the spirit, the face of the spirit. Aqua Aura, Aura Quartz. Number six, you're back in balance. Now, um, you can get this picture on Pinterest. Just type in Crystal Spirit Oracle from uh, Collet Baron Reed and um, you can download and print a picture and that might help you on your visionary board. The, uh, this stone you can use to connect with people. Okay, come out of your comfort zone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Connecting the infinite potential, a renewed sense of purpose. And that's this and this. You are starting something new. So you're getting the sense of renewal and the purpose. Wonder and awe. Well, this is awe. Two aces and the ten of pentacles. Just look and recognize the power that you will have and get from this stone. Then we've got the Fool. A new beginning. A leap of faith. Take that leap of faith, but make sure the Fool hasn't got um, experience and hasn't got uh, knowledge. Because he's naught, he's nothing. He's right before, prior to the beginning, and that's number one. So get as much information. Learn from the past. Learn that you have to make decisions. But you have to make decisions based on uh, information and wisdom. Okay? That's why you've got the Ten of Pentacles. You have to invest wisely. Watch out for the snake in the grass. Okay, now the postcard is, you are loved. Okay, dearest Virgo, we are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap. Well, reap, that's it. The rewards of your tenacity and faith. <coughs> Excuse me, we know how long it has taken you for you to reach some of your goals and that you have had disappointments along the way right now we suggest you take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune into the vibration of well-being temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your re rely uh, reality but we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now change is the only constant so open to it change you will achieve your dreams and more we promise 
but more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, and the quiet co commitments. Your happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not in arriving at any destination. You are surrounded by so much love and care. Can you feel us? That's your postcard for this week. There you go, Virgo. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I hope you will share for us um, and with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. Wow, I love it. I hope you do too. Have a beautiful week. Stay safe and stay well. See you in the live sessions and if not, I will see you in the next video.